Hey, it's Scott from Barco, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use device control and cues in order to change your multi viewer layout. The first thing I'm going to do is add my Event Master processor as an external device. I'll call this one my S3. Next, I'll enter in the unit's IP address without any leading zeros. And since I'm going to be using XML commands, I'll make sure not to change the port number from 9876. Next, I'll bring up the multi viewer page. Then I'll press Control O on my keyboard to bring up the outgoing XML log. Next, I click on the layout drop down box and I choose layout 1. The XML for this action is displayed in the log. I can now select the entire text of the command and copy it to the computer's clipboard. I no longer need access to the log, so I'll close it and head back to the configuration page. Here, I'll add a new command and rename it MBRL1. With the command still selected, I click inside the text entry box and paste the command, verify that it's there, and click store. I can now add another command and name it MBR. L2. I'll again paste the text from the clipboard, but this time I'll scroll up to the middle line and place the cursor at the zero, select it, and change it to a one. And then I'll press store, add the next command, and call this one MBRL3. I'll repeat the same process, except this time I'll scroll up and change the numeral from zero to two. I'll store this command, add the fourth one, naming it MBRL4, and repeat the process again where I paste the command, scroll up, and change the numeral from 0 to 3, and of course store it. Now I'll just double check that each one of these commands has the proper numeral inside before I continue any further. To make the commands more useful to me, I'll need to use them in a queue. So now I'll build some queues and place the commands in them. I'll add four queues at once, name them appropriately, and then I'll add action steps in them to execute the commands. Now in the first queue, I'll add an action step. And from the Devices tab, twirl the caret down to reveal the commands and then drag the first command and drop it into the action step. I'll repeat the process, advancing one command at a time for each one. Now that I've finished creating my four queues, I'll assign each one of them to controller keys. This will allow me a way to change my multi viewer layouts on the fly without having to use the tool set. I now have a button assignment for each multi viewer layout and I'm ready to test them out. I'll bring up another window of the tool set side by side to see the multi viewer layout change with each button press. Once the queue action completes, the multi viewer layout is changed accordingly. From Barco Image Processing, thank you for watching.